All right, today we're gonna make some sambar and some rasam and uh, maybe some interesting um, vegetable curry. So we start off with uh, making the tamarind paste for the sambar. And here you go, that's the tamarind paste. That's the tamarind paste and we're gonna combine it with some water. I have some tomatoes cut here. I'm gonna cut some onions and then we're gonna actually add some oil and put some of those onions in there. Uh, initially, uh, a little bit of uh, salt and um, uh, we put uh, sesame seeds and uh, uh, go from there. That's the next step is to uh, actually add the tamarind uh, paste, which has been mixed in water, and, and then we move forward. So as you can see now, I'm mixing some cold water into the tamarind, and as I add the water, I mix it nicely, right? I'm mixing it nicely, keep pouring the water, keep mixing nicely, and we're gonna get basically tamarind water. And tamarind water is an important part of making sambar and rasam which are both South Indian dishes. We also have some radish here, and the radish is gonna be put into the sambar as well, along with the tomatoes and the lovely onions that we have cooking here. Hi, Amma, say hi. This is my mom, and she is uh, wonderful. She's helping me with the cooking. All right, now we're gonna add the tomato, as you can see here, and we're gonna put that into the uh, little pan, the pot that we have here along with the onions which are nicely cooking along and we're going to stir that a little bit and we're on our way to making a delicious sambar which the history of sambar is that it was actually invented by the son of Shivaji Maharaj uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Bhosle's son discovered sambar by accident while creating a dal based dish and so it actually has some historical significance uh, as well. In the, in the middle. All right, next we're gonna add the radish. You see this lovely radish that we have here. We're gonna add that into this lovely combination here. And uh, then we're gonna stir again uh, for a little bit. Now, remember the onions go first. You have to wait till the onions become a little bit yellow. And a little extra salt helps us Cook the onions nicely in the sesame seeds and, and uh, then we uh, added the tomato and now we add the radish. And now at this point what we do is we cover this up, uh, mostly but not entirely, uh, so that it can be uh, cooking along and doing a great job. We're on our way to making some sambar. Well, what's interesting is that the radish is not going to cook just in that oil along with the other things. So we actually put in some water, it could be warm or cold, but enough water for the radish to actually boil. And then we stir the, uh, the mixture, uh, just like that, stirring, stirring, right? A little bit of salt is also added, and the salt goes into the mixture here. And now we cover it up again so that it can boil a little bit and the radish can get cooked. And then we get ready for the next stage, which is adding the tamarind water that we've already created, right? We've got this lovely tamarind water waiting to go. Now I also cut some additional uh, onions and we might use that for the next stage of the potato curry that we're gonna create. South Indian potato curry, one of my favorites. Gonna come in. All right, now we've got to see what's going on with our uh, tomatoes, our onions, and our radish. This is sambar that we're making. Remember, we, uh, we've got to make sure that the radish is actually cooking. And yeah, it seems to be cooking, coming along. It's gotten softer quite a bit. And we may be ready for the next stage, which is adding the tamarind sauce. So what we're gonna do next, come here, come here. what we're gonna do next is to take this lovely tamarind juice that we made, just adding water to some tampico tamarind and we see there's a little bit of le uh, tamarind left here. We, we don't want to lose any of that. We want to put that into the lovely mixture. And then once we're done with that, what we're going to do is actually add this tamarind right into the lovely sambar that we're making. So now what's happening is that in South Indian, both rasam and sambar, what we do is that we do add the tamarind water and uh, 
we took just a little teaspoon of tamarind and mixed in a whole cup of, uh, a whole glass, I should say, of cold water. And look at that, just look at that color. Oh my God, it's starting to look really good. And we're excited, the sambar is coming along nicely. The next thing that we want to do is actually to add sambar powder. Now sambar powder is available, sambar masala, it's available at the Indian store. We take about that much, right? And we put it into the sambar. And now, and, and uh, we, we do that a couple of times so that we are able to get uh, enough of that sambar powder. Now that, that's gonna add the wonderful flavor and the sambar powder is available from your local Indian store, or maybe it's far away for you, but um, that's what we do next. And then we let it actually continue to uh, heat up. So it uh, continues to absorb all the flavors and uh, creates a wonderful sambar for us. So we added a little bit of salt, about uh, one uh, teaspoon. And then what we're gonna do next is to actually add some turmeric powder, roughly about that much, not too much. Um, roughly about that much to this wonderful sambar and the turmeric powder is so powerful because it's antioxidant it uh, defeats cancer and, and a lot of Indian cooking has turmeric powder in it which is amazing all right so we actually started off in parallel making tur dal and tur dal we add one cup of dal and add three cups of water and we put it in the lovely uh, you know, this is called a pressure cooker. And once it's uh, cooked, we remove it, and there we have the tour dal. Now we're gonna add, uh, in fact, substantial amount of this tour dal to the sambar, but first, we do have to make sure that we make it into tiny pieces or small pieces so that it's not, the each dal uh, lentil piece does not stand out in the sambar. So we're actually doing this to make sure it's nice and liquid almost. Uh, and then what we do is we're going to actually add it to the sambar in a few seconds. It's cooking. So while the sambar is cooking, what we're actually going to do is to make some of this wonderful potato. So we, we do need to peel those potatoes and having put them in some uh, water, after having put them in the microwave for a bit, uh, they come out nicely boiled already. And what we're going to do is peel them. Uh, peeling is one of the most enjoyable things in the world if you uh, are a cook because uh, it's a never ending process. I'm being sarcastic, of course, but we peel the uh, potato and we keep going. Boom. Okay, now we're gonna take that lovely dal, the tur dal that we had made and mashed. Now we put that into the sambar and most of it will go into the sambar. Uh, I'm doing it casually here, but uh, about half of it goes into the sambar and uh, so all of it goes at this point uh, because we, we did have some separately for the rasam, but now we're just gonna pour it into the sambar. All right, we are all set, just like that. And we add a little bit of water uh, to this to get the final remnants. And mix that in nicely. Alrighty, and here it goes. All done. So now we uh, put that lovely back and now we mix it. Now the sambar is gonna cook for another five to seven minutes and it's done. Look at that beautiful color, texture, and we've got the vegetables in there. It's a lovely, lovely lentil-based South Indian soup dish, usually mixed with rice. All right, now look at that beautiful sambar, it's ready. And another couple of minutes, we're gonna switch off the, uh, the, uh, the burners and we're, we're all set. Thank you, thank you for watching. I've been making some sambar today and hope you appreciate it. And there we have it, folks. Sambar rice with uh, beans and potato curries, ready to go. Look at that, how delicious is that? That's a traditional South Indian meal and I'm about to indulge.